Hello positive people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex. Today is going to be a um, writer focused video. I've been wanting to talk a little bit about writer's block because I know like it's a thing and people get it all the time. And I guess like I've, I don't know. I don't know if I've been in like a writer's block kind of um, like zone right now, but I haven't really been doing a lot of writing, but I have been doing a lot of like other things. So I wanted to talk about like um, what other writers have written about uh, writer's block and how to overcome it, and then give like my own little advice on how to overcome writer's block. And yeah, so I'll start with um, what other writers have written about writer's block and like what I kind of um, generalize from um, their perspectives. So I have um, read a lot of writers like Stephen King and Tony Hoagland. Um, I haven't really read a lot of their like fictional work, but I've read their work uh, on writing. And I think, so they have kind of like a habit kind of routine kind of um, approach to writing in general. And um, I think from their perspective, um, discipline would be the way to overcome writer's block. Um, this would include like sitting down for a certain amount of time or a certain amount of like word count. So let's say you're suffering from suffering from writer's block. But yeah, let's say you have writer's block and you want to make sure that you get some words on the page every day. How do you do that? So from the discipline approach and like the habitual approach, you could... Um, have a routine so you wake up at a certain time every morning um, let's say you're waking up 30 minutes earlier than usual and you're dedicating that like half hour or 45 minutes just to writing so you wake up um, get your coffee or whatever um, sit down and you're gonna write for 30 minutes now that's one way to do it um, you can sit down you can think about writing um, basically what you just want to do is get words onto the page and it works, it really does. Um, also, if you don't like the time thing, you can, or if you have more time than 30 minutes or you don't really wanna just um, restrict yourself for a certain amount of time, you can set a word count. So let's say you wanna write like 100 words or 200 words, you could do like a paragraph or page count. It's totally up to you, um, everyone's writing's different. All writing is different. If you have a lot of dialogue, it's obviously going to be different um, than people who have a lot of like blocks of just um, like description and stuff like that. And then also when you create that kind of routine, you're making it an everyday thing. You can increase the amount of time you sit for. You can or that you're writing for. You can increase the word count. Um, a lot of writers do this with like if they're start writing a novel and they are getting close to the end, obviously um, as you get closer to the end you get more excited or you get a little scared. So um, having a routine like this like set for you would help you um, kind of finish that novel because you're making it a routine, you're making it a habit. It becomes like a way of life almost and um, writing is kind of like a way of life. Uh, yeah, so kind of growing your discipline, which is true for like any um, creative like thing. Like if you're an artist, you are going to sit down and have a certain amount of time that you're going to draw for, paint for. Um, if you're into music, you're going to have a certain amount of time that you're going to dedicate to that every day to make it a habit, to make it like a routine. Um, uh, okay, so let's move on to writers like Henry James. He also falls under like the habitual kind of routine. Um, like category that I have. Uh, so, but I think he would take more of kind of a societal approach to overcome writer's block. And this means that like to, for you to go into society to be, um, like around people, around 
just the world, going into the world and observing and being a part of it, and then retreating with your like inspiration, your style inspiration to write. Um, and that's where the discipline would kick in. You go into the world, you get some inspiration, and you come back for a period of time and just write. And like the societal um, venturing can take time. It could take like months. So you could be just going out and really investing your time into society and like um, people and then retreating for like another three months, six months, and just really um, getting into the habit of using this inspiration that you've acquired and putting it into words or putting, um, like creating your stories and stuff like that. And I think Rousseau, he was a philosopher, but he would also kind of fall under this um, societal retreat kind of um, kind of category that I have going on. And um, instead of inspiration, he would kind of use his uh, despise or despair, which is also an inspiration. Like, all inspiration is in enlightening, or it is, it could be enlightening in many different ways. So you could use that, just use your knowledge and what you learn to kind of guide your writing. <clears throat> okay, so that's what writers say, think, do. Um, now I'm going to talk about like my advice. Um, what helped me a lot was workshops. Workshops are very, very effective to overcoming writer's block. Um, being around other writers helps you to get the creative juices flowing, um, just communicating with other writers. It's kind of like just talking about writing kind of gets you thinking as a writer, thinking as someone who's going to um, like create. Um, being around other writers helps you get creative juices flowing. Your um, workshop exercises are really, really helpful. Um, because they force you to sit down and write, like, it could be in the workshop or, like, outside of the workshop, like, prompts and stuff like that. Um, inside of the workshop, like, while you're meeting, if you have, like, a writing exercise, they really help because they help you kind of get in a zone quickly and put as much as you can down on the page. And then just those little exercises, if you can do that, you're going to be able to do it later and you're going to be able to do it again and again and again if you keep practicing and what you write during those times you can use later on and even if you don't use them just doing that root that practice doing like that kind of fundamental kind of um, practice gets you like every time you sit down to write you're improving you're learning and you can use it later so I have like a couple different prompt ideas too. Um, take your favorite line from like your favorite song or poem and use that as your first line of a short story or like an exercise. Or try to incorporate it into a, um, like as one line in a, in a piece that you're working on. Even if you don't, even if you just use that um, line for inspiration and you don't wind up using it in your um, writing. Um, also, reading. Reading really, really helps with writer's block. Um, if you're not reading, you're not really going to be able to write. Um, so, short stories are really good for this because you can read a lot of different things. You can go to a lot of different places in short periods of time. And you have such a. There are so many short stories out there like. Um, follow some magazines, follow some online journals. They're publishing short stories all the time. Um, and they're really good, like short stories. A lot of people just go straight to the novel and stuff like that, but read some short stories because like you get, like there's a lot of skill that goes into writing a short story. There's a lot of um, discipline. The idea of a short story has to be like complete in itself. So you're getting like a full, like 360 story in one little piece like five pages ten pages and you're feeling fulfilled after that you're feeling inspired after that and 
um, while you're reading. And if you are reading novels, that's fine too, because there are a lot of good things that you can learn from novels and a lot of good inspiration that you can get. But pay attention to what you like or try um, like a perspective that you feel would be challenging for you that you've discovered in like short stories or novels that you want to try. If you don't want to try it, that's even better. <laughs> so try it challenge yourself challenge yourself as a writer and you'll wind up like surprising yourself um one of the one of the most fun exercises that i did and this was inspired from a short story was to write in like the first person plural i had never done it before and i was like the, like the feeling that i got from the story that i read was like very creepy but i was like okay so i'm gonna write a first person plural story and have it not be creepy so um, that's what I did, and that story like wound up getting published. So just these little exercises really can take you on journeys that you never thought you would um, be on before, and they might not end up what you think, but if you really work hard at it, they'll be what you want them to be, and they'll be what they can be. So, so that's like my um, prompts kind of reading. Um, advice and then also i have like the creative the creator perspective so in the creator perspective um writers use a lot of life experiences they are creators they're creating they're, through their writing they're creating they're reading the work of other creators um so i would say use that and follow just this creative energy so if you're feeling blocked in writing, look towards other creative um, outlets that you can kind of pursue and learn from. This includes like art, like drawing, painting, you can um, go into photography. A lot of writers actually like go for walks and they like use like that time to think about writing, which is also really good think about writing, think about life, um, go for walks, be out in nature, kind of get inspired by nature, get into photography, do different things. Um, you're going to learn different things that you will be able to bring back and put into your writing, like especially with character development. Um, every character is not going to be a writer. Writers don't only want to read about writers. Readers don't only want to read about writers. So. I think going into life with a creator's perspective and kind of following your creative energy and putting that into other outlets that aren't writing isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. Um, so kind of go into life. If you feel blocked in writing, put your creative energy into other things, other places, other fields. Um, you'll enjoy learning so that you can bring all of that knowledge and experience and that creative perspective back into your writing and that's going to make your writing so much more like um fulfilling for a reader it's going to make it so much more real your characters are going to be amazing um yeah and then come back with a discipline that you learn from these other fields and apply that to your writing you're going to learn so much and yeah just have fun so that's my advice on um, writer's block. If you are dealing with writer's block, and this applies to like essays too, like a lot of this advice you can apply not only to creative writing, but also to essays. Um, if you are into essays, read essays. Read essays on like the topics that you're writing about. Like that's research pretty much. Do some research. Um, basically what i was telling you to do is do creative research if you're writing creative fiction or creative um creative writing yeah do your research go out experience and then come back and um sit down with that piece of paper take the advice of the writers that i talked about um set up a routine set up a habit make it a way of life and you will be living that life all right, so I hope you guys um, like that advice. If it helps you in any kind of way, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. 
If you have any questions, comment below. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.